Saying we're entering a busy time for holiday travel, but as COVID, the flu, and RSV, as we've been telling you, the triple demic is overwhelming doctors' offices and hospitals. And if you're like Abby or Curly, mm -hmm. you don't need us to tell you. If you have little ones, it's brutal already. So, yeah. Dr. Gotham Desai with Kansas City University is joining us to talk about how to stay healthy while you're traveling. Yeah, thanks for being here with us uh, this morning, Dr. Desai. So, starting off, what do you recommend for getting people ready to take these trips that they're going to want to take no matter what? Yeah, people are sick of not traveling, so they definitely want to travel. I was in Orlando a few days ago, and the airport was jam-packed. So you need to prepare in case you're traveling with kids, um, you know, to meet to their needs so they're not screaming on the plane. Um, and they've stopped passing out wipes in a lot of flights, but I would still ask for a little wipe. And I would just clean off your tray table, seat back, and belt buckle, as well as your armrest. So try and you know, prevent coming in contact with germs. They do filter the air on planes, but it's always a good idea if you're traveling and you really don't want to get sick to, to wear that mask. You know, you don't know who's next to you and a lot of people on this flight were coughing. And then mentally too, you want to find out information. So when I was passing the check baggage line, they announced that you have to be there three hours in advance in Orlando in order to check a bag so you could just, everyone was just in a panic and started getting stressed out. So just make sure you have all the details before you fly for being mentally and physically healthy. That's a good point. Both yeah. are important. And I know it's like we've been saying for the whole duration of this uh, pandemic, Dr. Desai, that like, it's a very personal decision to decide to travel during the winter months. But I mean, where we have this triple demic and it, the flu is so bad because it's back in a big way, I mean, would you maybe encourage people not to travel this holiday season? Yeah, if you have someone at home that is immune compromised or at high risk for complications from, you know, the flu still kills people or, you know, flu, mm -hmm. COVID or RSV, it might be good to try and book your flights during a less busy time. And sometimes if you call the airlines, they'll be helpful in letting you know which flights are less full than others. And that way, if you get to the airport early, you can avoid the lines and for the you know bag screening and sit off in a little corner with your mask and just keep sanitizing your hands and you know use the same precautions that we've all grown sick of but they really do work you know we saw a big dip in RSV when everyone was wearing masks but now it's back with the vengeance yeah it really is uh, on a different topic you did recently come back from Kenya um, on a medical trip so how do those trips make your medical students better doctors after they graduate yeah, so one of our Kansas City University clinical adjunct faculty is a physician from Kenya. When he was younger, his mom and his sister died in that village, so he made a promise to come back and establish a clinic there, which he did. So we took 12th, 3rd, and 4th year medical students with us, and they had the chance to become better physicians by becoming more reliant on using their ears, eyes, and hands to make diagnoses. So we didn't have an x-ray machine, um, but students had to listen to the hearts, listen to the lungs, and they got to see a lot of skin ailments on darker skin, which is something the textbooks don't have as much in the U.S. So they can bring all those skills back you know, to help us here because they have improved diagnostic capabilities. That's wow. wonderful. Great service. Very powerful. Yeah. yeah. Dr. Desai, thank you for joining us this morning. Yeah, thanks, Evan, Pat. Have a nice week. Stay dry. Thanks. You too. Kathy? Bye-bye.